All right, what's up, you guys? I'm here with the Money in the Bank 2020 DVD review. Finally, a little behind on this one for obvious reasons. But what we have here is, of course, very, very different. You know, due to circumstances, we had the pay-per-view took um, place in the Performance Center. And then, of course, the actual ladder match took place on top of the headquarters basically starting on the first floor going all the way up to the roof so yeah that happened and as you can see here a lot going on on this cover i almost think it's too much going on kind of too many colors too many you know people flying around but that's kind of the point of the cover carnage but um you know you have the night sky there you have the moon you have the briefcases themselves and then your champions the ladder going into the side of Titan Towers. Do they still call it Titan Towers? I don't even know anymore. But there we have, for the people that didn't know the winners, you have Otis, which was just an unbelievable choice. And then you have Asuka. Going on the back here, you just have some kind of briefcase screenshots there. Pretty cool shot of the roof. And then some performance center shots. This only ran 211 minutes. So I think this is the shortest pay-per-view since like the 90s. Because the pay-per-view itself was only like a little over two and a half hours long. Somewhere around there. So this was a very short pay-per-view. So let's open this up. And of course, you know, you do get extras on here. Um, you know, that makes up for the, because the runtime of the pay-per-view is way less than 211 minutes. You have a Bailey card, and then you have the disc itself. So, decent artwork there. Always a huge fan of Bailey. I always thought she was pretty underrated, to be honest with you. Alright, so, let's get to the match listing. So what we have is Jeff Hardy defeating Cesaro in a singles match for the uh, pre-show. We have, um, let's see, The New Day versus The Forgotten Sons versus The Miz and Morrison versus The Lucha House Party for the SmackDown Tag Belts. Bobby Lashley and R-Truth. Bailey versus Tamina for the women's title. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt for the Universal Championship. Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins in a singles match for the WWE Championship. And then we have both Money in the Bank ladder matches happening uh, simultaneously. We have Asuka, Carmella, Dana Brooke, uh, Lacey Evans, Nia Jax, and Shayna Baszler. And then for the men's, we have Otis, AJ Styles, Aleister Black, Daniel Bryan, King Corbin, and Rey Mysterio. So yeah, as you can see, not too, too much going on on this card. Like I said, very short pay-per-view, but at the same time, it's kind of refreshing. You know, you kind of need that short pay-per-view every once in a while. Um, especially in the days that we're getting, you know, six-hour WrestleManias. But let me know your guys' thoughts on this pay-per-view. For now, this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.